miaka sitini iliyopita Kenya ilikuwa nchi changa wakati taifa likijivunia kupata uhuru shule maalum ya Joy Town mjini Thika ilianzishwa mwaka wa mbili mjini Thika kama kituo cha kuwarekebisha watoto walio na ulemavu wa viungo mwanzilishi walitazamia kujenga kituo ambacho watoto hao wangeishi ukuwa kifunzwa neno la Mungu na kuwafanya wajisikie wenye furaha wakiwa mbali na nyumbani kwao ndipo sasa shule hii ikaitwa Joy Town yani mji wa furaha lakini kwa maana wanafunzi hapa ni wa kipekee wana ulemavu lakini wana uwezo wa kufanya kazi zao vyema katika mazingira yaliyoboreshwa na madarasa yaliyotengenezwa vizuri ili kuwafaa we believe that a disability is not an ability these learners can just perform they can work when the environment is modified and adapted for them to be able to move around and uh, uh, navigate the environment So you realize that these learners despite the conditions that they have us as a community uh, of Joytown the facility has adapted quite a number of uh, facilities for these learners so that they can move around the school so that they can do whatever they are supposed to do you realize that in their classes we have uh, uh, designs curriculum designs which we use now which are adapted to suit learners with physical impairment baada ya muda shule hii ilitambuliwa na serikali na kuwa na walimu waliohitimu wanafunzi walifanya vyema katika masomo na shughuli za ziada za mitaala kama vile muziki ambapo shule hii ilipata umaarufu mkubwa katika sherehe za kitaifa za muziki wa kila mwaka these are all trophies won at the national level so basically we say our learners are actually very good performance when it comes good. to academic and also co-curricular activities more specifically in swimming swimming is one of uh, uh, the therapies that our learners with physical impair, impairment uh, uh, go through and this is why we have a swimming pool for them to be able to swim and have that uh, what we call a hydro hydrotherapy yeah so swimming is very important to them and they they really perform when well. if you look at that trophy for example that is a a, a trophy first class and this is uh, in the uh, nationally kama wenzao wenye ulemavu watoto hao pambana na unyonyapaa na unyanyaswaji wengi wameuliwa wakiwa na umri wa miaka kumi na moja kwa sababu familia zao ziliwaona kuwa mzigo baadhi ya watoto wameokolewa kutoka kwa halifu ambapo mili yao ingetumika katika tambiko za uchawi lakini mazingira hapa yanavutia Teresa Njeri amefanya kazi katika shule hii special ya Joy Town kwa miaka na moja kuna wale ambao kabisa kabisa hajiwezi hata kuvaa nguo ama kuamka sasa kama hao mimi nakuja huwa tunaingianga 6 ya asubuhi niposa tu tumewasaidia na niposa waende breakfast 6:30 unaamka unakuja una unawavarisha wengine unawaekelea kwa wheelchair na hata saa ingine mnaweza kukuta wamejiedea cho. Mm. Sasa kama hao lazima uwaoshe mm. ama uwatalize mzuri mm. ndio waende. Ingawa upasuaji ni njia moja wapo inayowafaa watoto hao, wengine pia wanahitaji urekebishaji ambao unahitaji sana mazoezi ya viungo. Pedha ni kid shirika ambalo lilishirikiana na shule hii limejitolea kutoa marekebisho ambayo wagonjwa wanahitaji. kama Caroline Gakawa anavyotueleza kwamba ni hapa katika shule hii maalum ambapo wanatoa tiba kwa zaidi ya watoto hamsini mwenye matatizo ya kiwemo kupooza kwa ubongo yani cerebral palsy na uti wa mgongo kwa kimombo spinal bifida na polio we transform their lives through rehabilitation and in rehabilitation it's all about occupational therapy physiotherapy and we also provide them with assistive devices quality wheelchairs and any other devices that they may need in their mobility or rather in their function so most of our st- staff are trained 
in the provision of those devices and we ensure we provide appropriate devices. Wakati wa chakula cha mchana unapowadia watoto wenye upungufu wa kutembea huwasaidia wenzao kufikia jumba la makuli. Watoto wanajali sana kuhusu wenzao hii kiidhirishwa na furaha zao nyusoni. Jambo ambalo Francisca na Jipu mmoja wa wale walionufaika kutoka kwa Bethany Kids anaweza kudhibitisha. When I came here as a, a client, I was a, 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 a one of the clients in Bethany Kids. I didn't have hope, and uh, I was um, I just came from Samburu when I was like, I had disability and uh, I had wounds. And when I came to Bethany Kids, I get hope. I was share about the love of Jesus, and I came to know more about the Lord in Bethany Kids. I grew deeply in the Lord, of, the Word of God, and I got encouragement and. A part of medical, a part of surgery, a part of a prosthetics that I got in Bethany Kids. The, the main thing I got is about Jesus Christ. And that changed my life and even the life of the, my family. Yeah, my family came and know the Lord Jesus through that. And uh, I, I, what thing I do because uh, my life was changed through Bethany Kids. And then now I'm here to help, even to tell God to use me to change the life of the children with disabilities, transforming them through what I am doing. Sio kazi raisi kwa shughuliki watoto hawa kwa ni changamoto ni tele. There are challenges. One, you can be, the machine can make you have a, a wound. You can sometimes cut yourself when doing it. And some challenges you find in children, in their children, so you have to follow up with them. They don't know that their appliances, they need them. So you have to follow up and make sure they wear because it's for their benefit. If you go through our classes, you find that we have more than that in the class, just because there are no rooms. If only we had rooms, we could be having 15 learners per class. But because of shortage of rooms, we have to put them together so that uh, they can uh, be taught. For the shipment of those wheelchairs, it is so expensive for us. To ship like a container of wheelchairs, it's a lot of money. And we just charge very little money for the people who come to us to get those wheelchairs, just 5,000 shillings. And you find there are some who are not even able to pay for that because of lack of finances. So that is one area we feel there's a lot of support that is needed. Yeah, so that we are able to meet the needs of these, these children and their families. Challenges is for, of course, the still community that are not accepted these children. And when uh, a family who are there who don't understand the disability or even the, understand this child that he gets devastated because when we are here we tell them but when they go home something is different for them so the challenges we get because maybe they understand from the community and even the churches too because this child cannot go to church so when we are here tell them about god when they go home they just stay at home when they have weddings there's anything they cannot go so i think we need people to understand that children they need just support and even to live like any other children. So even another challenge is when the child passed away. You know, of course you get uh, stress up for all of us, staff and even is this a cancer or a mentor. Because you stayed with them like <laughs> your children so when they passed away, you get emotion, but it's okay. God knows everything. Dolly Mirigi, Dira Yahoo TV.